Today I'm going to explain a DSDV lab using Verilab. So this is an IPCC course. So as a part of syllabus, you have to do the following experiments. Okay. So you have eight experiments and four demonstration experiments. So today I'll explain how to do realize adder uh, subtractor that is a full adder, half adder as well as half subtractor and full subtractor using very large data flow description. So you have to go to desktop. In desktop you will find uh, ISC Xilinx. Once you open, you are going to get a window, welcome window. So this is a welcome window for ISC. Project Navigator 14.7. So once you open, you use a blank screen. So you can create a new project. So go to create new project. So still it is loading actually the previous project. So if you don't want previous project, you can create new project once again. So close pre any previous project. Now click new project. So you can create a, a folder in D drive by your name. And you can write project one or project two like that you can write. So after that you have to select a family. So the family I'm selecting is Spartan 6. And device is XC6L, XC6S LX9. Okay, Xilinx Corporation, Spartan 6, LX9. And package type is thin quadrant, uh, 144 pins package. Speed is minus 3. And uh, simulator, uh, by default it is taken iSIM. Okay, let it be iSIM only. The only thing you need to select is family as Spartan 6 and device is XC6S LX9 because uh, in your college we are using the same kit. So click finish. So after that uh, we have to do off adder. For off adder I want to create new source which is very lock. So select Verilog module, give name as of adder. Add to project, by default it is selected. So this file, Verilog module of adder is going to add it to your project. So click next. So we know that in of adder, we have two inputs, A and B are the inputs, and the two outputs are sum and carry. So you can represent uh, sum as S and carry as B. So that is left to you. You can write full S or you can write sum also. Okay. You can write sum. Actually, S indicates sum, C indicates carry. So uh, it's a case sensitive. So you have to write uh, capital means wherever you are using, you have to use same. Okay. A, B, I am writing capital. S and C also, I am written capital. A and B are the inputs, S and C are by default all are inputs, you have to change it to output. A and B input, sum and carry output. Click next and finish. So by default it created a template. So module is of adder, inputs are A and B, output is sum and carry. Output. So now we have to do two more statements. So we have to assign, assign sum s is equal to, so what is the expression for half adder? Half adder, uh, we have sum is equal to a bar b plus a b bar, which is equal to uh, xr gate of a and b. So a mod sum b which is a bar b plus a b bar 
and carry is given by a dot b which is and get expression so you can see the manual how to get the expression so you have to write the true table for some half adder so inputs a and b these are actually digital inputs so digital we can have only two possible values 0 or 1 for two inputs four different combinations you are going to get so a and b are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so expression uh, you see the true table when a and b are 0 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 when a is 0 b is 1 sum is 1 carry is 0 similarly 1 0 sum is 1 carry 0 when both inputs are 1 1 sum is 0 carry is 1 so from the lookup table from the true table and get the expression for sum and carry you are going to get sum as uh, a mod sum b so you can write s is equal to xr gate expression so xr gate is a uh, in the very log xr gate expression is given by a cap b so this is uh, a this you can get by clicking uh, shift 6 okay in the uh, keyboard you can see above the uh, keypad 6 we have cap so in order to get shift 6 you have to click then each line you have to end with semicolon similarly one more assign see up until it is a keyword it is coming in uh, black color suppose by mistake i written 2n means it is not a keyword so it is not highlighted so you have to write properly assign carry c is equal to expression for carry is a and b so a into b so logical and you have to write so it is uh, above uh, keypad 7 we have ampersand sign and again you have to end with semicolon so only two statements you have to write assign sum is equal to a x or b and assign carry c is equal to a and b because expression for sum is x or get operation of a and b expression for carry is and that is a b which is nothing but and get expression so that's all only two lines you need to write so now we have to check uh, we have to check simulation okay alpha state experiments are simulation only so we have to click simulation here by default it is in uh, implementation i changed it to simulation after that uh, you have to select off adder file so once you select this off adder file in the project process as you can see in the down iSIM simulator is visible you have to click plus button on here you have to check syntax of this so double click on this so it is asking whether to change so you have to click yes once the file is saved it is checking the syntax if any error is there you can see in the error window see uh, if no errors are there green color tick mark will come so that means no error for example if you miss the semicolon and all you will get error there so after that we have to simulate so we have to click simulate behavioral model i will explain how to give uh, different inputs that is uh, to check the simulation output uh, you can do using a uh, force constant or using force clock or using uh, test bench to double click on simulate behavioral model this window will come this is isim default.wcfg file so you can see uh, this uh, values are zzxx because we are not given any value for a and b and only you have to need to give values for inputs a and b someone carry will generate output once you click this run button <coughs> so before that i will uh, 
reset the previous output so this is a restart now I will give force constant right click on this uh, Z value force constant give first uh, to table is 0 0 no? so 0 give some 100 nanosecond or 100 uh, millisecond unit is a compulsory n means nano m means milli so for 100 nanosecond I want to maintain a value of 0 for input a apply ok then b also I am giving force constant as 0 because both input first combination is both inputs are 0 0 so this also I am maintaining for 100 nanosecond 0 value only ok at given value 0 for a for input b also I am giving 0 both inputs are 0 for 100 nanosecond and output don't assign any value ok now you have to run for those values see here now actually this arrow mark yellow color cursor is there that we have to bring here so see for the input a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 only inputs values you have to give as a force constant and once you run this you are going to get sum and carry based on what you have written in the program so next combination is you need to write force constant a is 0 only ok 0 you have to maintain for 100 nano second and force constant b now I am giving as 1 100 nano second apply ok now once again you run so now you can see after 100 nano uh, second next is is coming here so here a is 0 b is 1 for a is 0 b is 1 sum we are getting as 1 carry is 0 you have to verify the true table of half adder so in the half adder second combination is when a is 0 b is 1 we should get sum as 1 carry is 0 so second combination is also coming properly so next I will give So next I will give third one which is which is A is 1 and this is also maintain you for 100 nanosecond apply ok B is now B is 0 This is the third combination. A is 1, B is 0. So this also you run. So now you can see A is 1, B is 0, sum is 1, carry is 0. So now we will go to last combination when A and B both are 1, 1. So force constant A is 1. B is also 1. When both are 1, 1, you run here. So the last combination output is coming here. A is 1, B is 1. Sum we are getting as 0. And carry we are getting as 1. So this is how to check the output using force constant. So what we did, individually we forced the value of A and B as 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 uh, we did four times force to the values with the different combination and uh, we had given the a and b both for equal of 100 uh, nanosecond of time so this is how to see uh, the output using force constant i will tell you one more method you can give all the since we had given four different times so instead of that you can give only one time only so that I will show now you can restart this reset this see reset this after that now I will going to give you force clock so there you are going to get uh, 
First leasing it is zero, killing it is one. Cancel after 100 uh, nanosecond. Duty cycle is 50%. And period is 100 nanosecond. Okay, period means on time plus off time is uh, 100 nanosecond and cancel after 100 nanosecond. Duty cycle is 50%, so that on time is equal to off time. So on time is 50 nanosecond, off time is also 50 nanosecond. Apply. This is for A. So next, second force clock. So running edge is 0 is 1. This is also cancel after 100 nanosecond only. Let it duty cycle be 50% only. But now period is previously we had given uh, period as 100 nanosecond. Now I will give period as 50 nanosecond so that uh, two cycles will come. First I had given 100 nanosecond period also 100. For input B 100 nanosecond period is 50 nanosecond. So what is the difference I will tell you there. Okay. Now I am going to run this. So you are going to get this. Now in order to cover all the input uh, combination you can see zoom to full view. Okay. This you have to click zoom to full view. See first is this combination when inputs are 0 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 next is a is 0 b is 1 a is 0 b is 1 we are getting sum 1 carry 0 for third combination a is 1 b is 0 sum 1 carry 0 for both inputs 1 1 sum is 0 carry is 1 so how we got this so all the four combination in uh, this one means First for input A we had given 100 nanosecond as period. Cancel after 100 nanosecond. If you see you can 10 nanosecond, 20, 30, 40. The plot is cancelled after 100 nanosecond. Out of 100 nanosecond we selected a period of uh, 100 nanosecond. So up to here only. And due to cycle is 50%. So 50% 0 of 50% on. So 50 nanosecond 0, 50 nanosecond. On. So duty cycle is 50%, on time is equal to off time and total period is 100. So for input B what we did, for input B we had given period as 50, cancel after 100 nanosecond but period we had given as up to here only. That also we had given uh, duty cycle also 50%. So out of 50, 25 off, 25 on, again this is plotting up to 100 nanoseconds. So one more cycle will come. First cycle 50 nanoseconds, second cycle 50 nanoseconds. On time 25 milli, 25 milli, nano, 25 nano, 25 nano. Here also. So two cycles are coming. So this is to get all the four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So for all the four combinations, it's possible by using force clock. Otherwise, we can also give four different combination by using uh, different uh, uh, force constant four times. So this is how to see the output using uh, force clock and force constant. So now I'll show you one more way of uh, writing, uh, getting the output for uh, using test bench. So for this, you need to go to right click on this project, add source or new source, add new source. You have to click Verilog test fixture, Verilog test fixture. So there you have to type uh, off adder, I'm writing HATB. You can write any name, off adder TB means test bench. Okay. This also you have to add it to project because previously we used off adder no for this it is actually associate source associate source for the test bench is off adder 
click finish. So no need to write test bench automatically it will generate uh, this test bench file okay with the register uh, of adder test bench as a module uh, then all these things automatically generated so by default also it is started with initial begin a value as 0 b value 0 and this will be maintained for what 100 nanosecond okay and wait for 100 nanosecond 100 nanosecond a value will be 0 b value will be 0 right so this is generated by this tool itself when you add add test bench okay add new source very lot test bench uh, texture so if you give uh, that any value here i had given as hatb of adder test bench so it given initial value of a0 b0 this will be maintained for 100 nanosecond so after 100 nanosecond i have to give one more value now that is so i will copy this one see the procedure So first a is 0 no b is 0 no so you can write a is 0 b is 0 a tab like this you copy this okay a is 0 b is 0 for 100 nanosecond no you copy this Four times you have to paste this because four combinations you have to give. A is 0, B is 1 for 100 nanosecond. A is 1, B is 0, 100 nanosecond. A is 1, B is 1. Wait for 100 nanosecond. So we added only these three lines. Automatically it generated initial value as A is 0, B is 0, 100, wait for 100 nanosecond. Remaining these three combination I entered okay I added properly so that uh, you can easily understand after that save this now very very important step so since we added test bench also okay now we have to see, uh, check the syntax of test bench okay so here UUT is there that is actually your original order of adder file TB means test bench file now we have to click on test bench file Okay, click on test bench file and check syntax. If no errors are there, it will again come take mark. Now simulate this. If you simulate automatically, no need to give force constant, no need to give force clock. Automatically from the test bench, it will take the inputs and it will generate the output. So in that in the exam you can show using uh, uh, test force constant or using force clock or using test bench anyone we want simulation output I will rerun once again. Okay, see it automatically it is coming. So I told now you have to cover all. It is showing only one particular combination 0, 1. So you have to click on cover all. Actually, here uh, this uh, sum and carry is coming first. So what you can do is you can make uh, this one to go first so inputs are coming a and b are the in, uh, inputs s and c are the outputs so we can make some to come here carry to come here so now you can see okay sum is a is 0 b is 0 sum 0 carry 0 a is 0, B is 1, sum 1, carry 0. A is 1, B is 0, sum 1, carry 0. 
and a when a and b are one one sum is zero carry is one so this is how to check the output using test bench this is not compulsory so if you want you can show using test bench also okay now in the implementation if you want to see uh, we if you go to this okay go to synthesis view rtl schematic once you click on view rtl schematic so this is the half adder design view so inputs are a and b outputs are c and s c is carry s means sum now you double click on this to see the double if you double click you can see inside a diagram also see uh, so, uh, carry is given by a and b so it's an and gate and uh, expression for sum is xr gate so inside this you will get xr gate this is xr gate this further uh, it is not showing so view technology schematic so again you can see further lookup table before everything you can see see once you click and the technological schematic and if you click this xr gate you can see this okay this is a this is b a bar a bar b and a b bar so this will give you the and gate and gate this is not gate a bar b and this is a b bar and both are added here and you are going to get some and you can see the equation not this is not not of i not i not means one input okay a bar b plus a b bar this is a true table 0 0 sum is 0 0 1 sum is 1 1 0 sum is 1 1 1 sum is 0 i not and i 1 are the inputs o means output and k map so these are actually additional things should know okay So next, I think I'll explain now what is full adder. Uh, 